I can do all this and do you the strength. Nothing is impossible to you. Blind eyes are open, strongholds are broken, and I'm living by faith. Worship is war, right? This is how you fight your battles. Y'all heard that song before? So right now, what we're about to do, we're about to war, okay? You're going to war with praise. You're going to war with worship. You ready? We're going to do this together because we're a family. We're going to link arms in the spirit, and we are going to enter into praise. Here we go. Sometimes you got to dance in the darkness, sing through the fire, praise when it don't make you got to stare down the giant, worship on the lion's den. Sometimes you got to shout it from the mountain, louder in the valley, trusting that he's going to get you there. Sometimes you got to welcome the wonder, wait for the answer, worship with your hands in the air. I'll praise you anywhere. Praise, give him praise. Give him praise in the highest praise. Give him praise, give him praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy. No God of praise. Sometimes you gotta praise in the prison. Cry out to heaven. Shout it till the door swing wide. Sometimes you gotta shout. In the battle, knowing that he's gonna come through. I'll praise you. Oh, praise, give him praise, give him praise in the highest praise. Give him praise, give him praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all of the praise. Give him praise, give him praise in the highest. Praise in the highest He is worthy Yes, He is worthy Of all of the praise So worthy, worthy, worthy He's faithful all my life Blessings day and night Countless reasons why I'll praise you anywhere Every promise kept, goodness every set, each and every breath. I'll praise you anywhere, faithful all my life. Blessings day and night, countless reasons why. I'll praise you anywhere. Every promise kept, goodness every step, each. 
each and every breath. I'll praise you anywhere. Praise, Just give them praise, give them praise in the highest praise. Give them praise, give them praise in the highest. He is worthy. He is worthy. He's worthy. It's praise, give them praise, give them praise in the highest praise. Give them praise, give them praise in the highest. He is worthy. Yes, he is worthy of all of the praise. I'll praise you anyway. Oh, mountain, oh, valley, I know that you're with me there. I'll praise you anyway. Jesus, we just praise you right now. I don't know okay. if people are on the mountain this morning or if they find themselves in the valley, but Lord God, wherever we find ourselves this morning, Lord, we choose praise. We choose to worship you. We choose to lift high the King of Kings, the Lord of Lords, the one who has called us out and set us apart. We choose to worship the one who is always faithful, who is always good in every situation the one who always comes through, the one who always keeps his promises. So Father, this morning we just come before you, bringing what we have back as an offering. Let it be fragrant to you this morning. Who am I that the highest king would I was lost, but he brought me in. Oh, his love for me. Oh, his love for me. Who the sun sets free. Oh, is free indeed. I'm a child of God. Yes, I Slave to sin, Jesus died for me. Yes, he died for me. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free indeed. I'm a child. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Cause I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Let's sing it again. Cause I am chosen, not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for me. You are for me, not against me. I am who you say I am. Oh, I am who you say I am. Who the sun sets free, oh, is free. Child of God, yes I am. In my Father's house, there's a place for me. I'm a child of God, yes I am. Cause I am chosen, not forsaken. I am. Say I am. You are 
Father, we bless you. We thank you, Father, that you have adopted us into your family and that when you look at us, you see the blood of Jesus. We thank you, God, that there is a call on our life. We don't just, we're not just here on this earth existing. That's a lie from the enemy, that we have no purpose. So right now, Father God, I pray for the person who's in this room thinking that they have no purpose, no reason to continue on. Because when you, when you shaped them and formed them in their mother's womb, and you breathed life into those lungs, you called them out by name, you set them apart, and you said, I have a purpose and a plan for your life. And so this morning, God, I pray that your spirit would fall on them fresh and new, awakening within them, the spirit man inside of them, the warrior inside of them, that you would quiet the voice of the enemy. Lord God, that they would walk in that call and in that purpose. And I'm speaking to myself, church. I'm speaking to myself. Rise up, church. Rise up in that call that's on your life. Be bold. Be bold in that call and understand that it means something. You mean something to the Father. You're precious to Him because you are chosen, not forsaken. You are who He says that you are. And he is for you, not against you. Yes, you are who he says that you are. Because you are chosen. You're not forsaken. You are who he says that you are. And he is for you, not against you. Yes, you are who he says that you are. So, Father God, we just thank you for your presence in this place. We thank you, God, that right now you're quieting the voice of the enemy because he has no place here. He has no place because where two or more are gathered in your name, then you are right there in their midst. So, Father, we're thankful for your presence and we're hungry for more of it, God. We're hungry for more of it, Lord. We're hungry for more of an outpouring. As a church, we've walked through this season where we've kind of been struggling, as Chris said last week, at mile nine, trying to get over to this place. But here's the thing, church, the Lord has spoken it to many people in this church. We are there. We are through that. We are through that and we are there. And it's coming. The glory of the Lord is coming and sweeping through this place. And he's gonna use this place to do mighty things in our community. And I hope you're ready for it. I hope you're ready for it. Do you want to know how you posture yourself? Willing. Yes. Surrendered. That's it. He does the rest. He doesn't need you to figure it all out. He does the rest. Yes. So God, we thank you for this place. We thank you for this morning. We thank you for what you're going to do today. Yes. We bless you and we honor you. Everybody give him praise in Jesus' name. Hold on. How many of you know that you are who he says you are? He made you the way you are. You're fearfully, you're wonderfully made. (sighs) 
Kayla, I want to speak. This is your dad. I just want to say to you, sir, you, <laughs> don't change anything. What God put in you is so incredible and so precious. And the strength you carry, that's exactly how he made you. And the last thing that he wants is for you to ever feel like you've got to be this or do that. God made you just the way you are. And I just feel right in the midst of this just to tell you that the hand of the Lord is on your life. And God is going to, God has brought you to the place that you are. He's made you what you are. The strengths that you have, the dimensions you have, the boundaries that you understand. God put that in there for a reason and a purpose. And I believe you're about to come into one of the greatest seasons of your life and your understanding of him and his purpose in your life. And in the midst of this journey, it's so important that you not lose yourself for the sake of something else because that's not you. You're going to blaze a new trail. You're going to open a new door. And it's going to be a new dimension that you're going to carry that others are going to follow. And you're going to impact more people than you realize. So I just want you to sing that again, ma'am. I am who he says that I am. Can we sing that just one more time? You guys all sit down. I want you to stand up one more time. Come on, one more time. Come on, don't be lazy. Stand up. But I want to say to you, sir, you are exactly who he says you are. And you take the strength and you take the pride in that. Can we just, just do that, that course one more time before we do there? I am chosen, <laughs> That's right. <laughs> I am who you say I am. And you are for yes. not against me. Come on, you can say that. I am who, I am who you I say I am. I am I'm chosen. <laughs> I am chosen. Yes. Not forsaken. I am who you say I am. You are for <laughs> not against me. I am who you say I am. To the sun sets free. Oh, it's free. <laughs> I'm a child. The Lord is so good to us, and we're glad that everyone's here this morning. You know, a lot of things take place in our service, but they're all very important. Everything from the children that we acknowledge and we release, they're so very important to us and to our life. Um, we believe in strong families. Uh, health is one of our big core values. We believe in being spiritually healthy. If I could repeat it like this, you don't have to levitate, but do you know the Lord? We want you to be financially healthy, and you don't have to be a millionaire, but can you take care of your stuff? We want you to be socially healthy. If you dislike more people than you like, then you're not healthy. We want you to be healthy in every aspect of your life, and one of the greatest aspects of health that you see is in your family, and the family, the family unit is very important to everything that we're doing, and and uh, this morning, what we're going to do is we're going to do a wonderful baby dedication. And uh, this, is, this is a seriously cute kid. Uh, I looked at the pictures and I said, oh, my God. 
that is beautiful, kid. We, we, they need 12 if they can make them like that. <laughs> Myla Mae Thomas is going to be dedicated. And Mila, did I say Myla? Mila? Mila, Myla. Well, she's beautiful nonetheless. She's beautiful. Would you guys come, Kayla Thomas? Would you, would you guys come and... Oh, yes, Cheryl's going to sing. This is something Cheryl does and has done for all 300 grandchildren she has. <laughs> Come right on, you guys. Just what a beautiful kid. Go ahead, Cheryl. Well, we sang this at her daddy's dedication. So it's well worn. It's well sung. But we're thankful today for little Mila. Teddy, why don't you come and stand up here? This is a special thing for me to get to be a part of. It seems like when I first met Teddy, uh, he was pretty little. And uh, he was the terror of the church. I don't know if you realize. <laughs> and Ethan. But this is very special to us. Um, Kayla, Teddy, we could not be more proud of, of you and of who you are and what you're doing and what God's got for you. And uh, 
the greatest joy I think that we have is found in this. Kind of the whole meaning of life comes together when we have an opportunity to, to have this experience, and this is so wonderful. I, I, names mean something. Names have always been prophecies that sets things in motion. You can see this throughout the Bible when God set uh, a person's life. It was like the name was a prophecy. Uh, he changed names. Abram's name was, uh, he was a very powerful and wealthy man, but God changed his name because of his destiny. His name was changed from Abram to Abraham, which was to mean the father of a multitude. So you find that throughout the Bible where he changed names. He, he altered their, their direction by, by changing their name. And the name is, is, it truly is, it's like a prophecy that you give. Every time you call that child, you're calling them to their purpose. And so I, I always like to find the meaning of names. And as I was looking up for Mila, I, I was, uh, there was actually two very strong lines of thought. And so I just thought I would bring both of them. Uh, one uh, describes her actions. And uh, for Mila, that her actions will be very industrious and hardworking. Thank God for that. But the second part of it was the heart, which was very gracious, favored, precious, and dear. And so both of these things which describe her life, Mila will carry the strength of one who's not afraid of challenge and the inward beauty of one who understands discretion, carries herself with grace, and is very highly favored. Mila will live with an understanding of spiritual graces and insights. The path that has been laid before her by previous generations will seem very familiar to her as, she, as, if, as if she designed them herself. Mila will know the Lord, and the Lord will know her. And that will spring a fountain of living water that she will provide for herself, and she will provide for her children and for her children's children. Because that's how God always looks. He never looks at the blessing on one person. He always looks at it from a generational standpoint. And the scripture that I want to give her is from Isaiah chapter 11 and verse 2. The spirit of the Lord shall rest upon her, the spirit of wisdom and understanding, the spirit of counsel and might, the spirit of knowledge and the fear of the Lord. She shall be of quick understanding. And that's the word that I speak over her. So what we want to do, can I give that to you? What we want to do is we want to bless Mila. God, would you look at that face? Oh, you just can't look at that without smiling. Thank you, Lord. Teddy, would you take that? She is right there. Okay, so you just got to see this. I am a great grandpa, I'm telling you. Hi there. So I just want to introduce Mila to the church because she's going to be dedicated to the Lord. Would you just close your eyes with me for one moment and let's bless Mila. Father, today, right now, I lift Mila up to you and I just declare the favor of God to be upon her. Let her be of quick understanding. Let her be strong. Let her, oh God, be anointed all the days of her life. Protect her. Preserve her. Let the angels of the Lord encamp round about her and bless her in the area of her leadership and the strength of her life. I declare and I command the blessings of God upon Mila. I pray, oh God, that as she grows, that she will grow with wisdom and with understanding, with honor, with knowledge. Let her actually, Lord, come to a place of great honor. I declare honor and blessing upon Mila. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And every, everybody say amen. Amen. So, Caleb, we put Mila in your care. And you do a great job. And I just bless your family. Father, I'm just asking God that right now that you would cause the favor of God to bless upon this, to fall upon this house. I pray, God, that you'll bless them coming in and going out. 
I'm asking God that you would cause them and everything they put their hands to, let them prosper. Give them favor in relationships. I pray that you would open doors of finance. I'm asking God that you would cause their house to rise. Let their Lord, let their enemies be closed out of the gate. And I pray that their children will rise up and call them blessed. Let their house be blessed, I pray. I bless them in Jesus' name. I bless them in Jesus' name, their whole house. In Jesus' name. Amen, amen, amen. This girl can sing. Did you all know that? She can sing. And I think she... I think she might also. Would you give them a hand of appreciation this morning? Thank you, guys. No, just keep that. Just just keep it. Thank you, Teddy. Oh, thank the Lord. Thank the Lord. Guys, I'm telling you, these are the valuable things in life. These are the things that mean something in life. Don't ever forget those. Don't ever forget those. You know, there was a time whenever the children of Israel was crossing over the Jordan, and he said, I want you to each tribe, I want you to take a stone out of the the water, uh, out of the riverbed. I want you to take a stone out of that, and it's to be a memorial stone. Now, the memorial stone was set up for this. He said, I want you to put them all. And he said, for this reason, that when your children ask, what do these stones mean? That you'll say, this was when God did this for us. See, there should be memorial stones set up in your house to where when your children say, what does this mean? That you say, oh, let me tell you about it. This was a time when we were in trouble and God did this for us. This was a time when we were facing this and the Lord showed up. This becomes a memorial stone. These are things that should be written. These are things that one, thank God for pictures and things we have nowadays that they never had before. But oh, what a wonderful, wonderful treasure that it is. So please embrace that and everybody just be sure and uh, let this wonderful family know how much you appreciate them before they get out of here. Teddy, I'm sure proud of you, guy. I really am. Okay, this morning what we're going to do is we're going to go into a little bit of worship. But before we do, let's honor the Lord with our giving. You know, giving is part of worship, I'm just telling you. So many times churches and other places have lost their way. They've lost their way into thinking somehow giving was, was what, what we're doing, it isn't even to pay light bills. This is worship under the Lord. What we're doing is we bring the first fruit of our increase and we say to the Lord, God, you're the one that brought me out of bondage. You're the one that changed my life. And today I bring first fruits and I worship you with it. And so this morning, just before we go into a season of worship, I just want us to worship the Lord with the first fruit of our increase. And this is something that God will bless you as you're obedient to what he's given you to do. Now, we've got electronic giving in the back. Those of you that need to go back there, you can certainly do that. We're going to have our ushers come to the front here. They can serve you in that area, that capacity. If you need an envelope, hold your hand up and uh, we'll, we'll take care of you. But uh, I would like for everyone just to bow your head with me for a moment and just give thanks to the Lord for something he's done. Now listen to me, this is an important moment. Please don't miss this. Can you think of something that you are thankful for? Right now, for just a moment. We wanna take 15 seconds and we just wanna give thanks to the Lord. Can you just think of something right now that you're thankful for? I know there's a lot of challenges that we face in our life, but forget all of that for right now. Is there something you can be thankful for? I'm thankful. Maybe it's your family. Maybe it's, maybe it's you had this crisis that you were delivered out of. Maybe it's, maybe it's I, I, whatever it could be, just something. What comes to your mind that you can say, thank you, thank you? Would we'll you just do that right now? We're going to take just a few seconds to just say thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you. (laughs) Thank you. (laughs) Thank you, Lord. (laughs) Thank you, Lord. Thank you. (laughs) Thank 
you, Lord. Oh, how we worship you. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Okay. I want everyone to stand with me, if you would. Those of you that need to be dismissed to the back, go ahead. But the rest of you, would you come? And let's just give thanks to the Lord for what he's done for us this morning. everybody stand with me for just a moment we're just going to bring the lights down a little bit we're just going to worship a little bit but father we right now say thank you for your goodness upon our house on our families lord we trust you <laughs> we we put our whole trust in you and I'm asking God that you would bless every home, every business, everything that they put their hands to and let the works of their hands be worship unto you. Thank you, Father, for your goodness. I bless their homes. I bless their houses. I bless their hands. I bless their efforts. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Thank you, guys. Come on, would you just lift your hands to the Lord? Just say, I worship you, Lord, and I love you. With all my heart, oh God. With all my heart, oh God. Thank you, Lord Jesus. I've tried so hard to see be so long to believe it that you'd choose someone like me to carry your victory perfection could never earn it you give what we don't deserve and you take the broken things Raise them to glory. You are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won. I am who you say I am. You crown me with confidence. I am seated. In the heavenly place undefeated We're the one who has conquered it all Now I can finally see it You're teaching me how to receive it So let all the striving cease this is my victory Cause you are my champion Giants fall when you stand undefeated Every battle you've won I am who you say I am 
Crown me with confidence, I am seated in the heavenly place undefeated. We're the one who has conquered it all. When I lift my voice and shout, every wall comes crashing down. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. And when I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. When I lift my voice and shout, every wall comes crashing down. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. When I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. Because you are my champion. Giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you've won I am who you say I am You crown me with confidence I'm seated In the heavenly place undefeated By the power of your name I am seated In the heavenly place undefeated you're the one who has conquered it all. Right now, I would just pray that you would just rest in his love. Just rest in his love. You know, every time I've been part of a revival, it always comes out of a heart of repentance. It's like a wave of repentance sweeps through the room and then revival breaks out. But you want to know what leads us to repentance? It's his kindness. It's not his chastisement. It's not his judgment. It's his kindness. And so right now, I pray that his kindness rests on you. I pray that his love sweeps through this room because when you encounter his love, you can never be the same. You can never be the same. So Father, right now, I pray that you sweep through this room. Sweep through this room with your kindness and with your love. So great, Father, that it brings us to our knees and it humbles us and it brings out hearts of repentance. Lord God, so that revival would break out in this place. Father, you place specific people in specific positions because of mantles that they carry. Let me tell you about a mantle that I carry. For some reason in my life, every time the Lord does something in me, it is quick. It is quick. It is not this, this lingering thing that takes forever to see change come or to see something happen. It's quick. When the Spirit of God fell on my life, I went from sitting in the back of the room contemplating suicide to sitting at the front of the stage here on my knees, speaking in tongues, not even knowing what that was, baptized in the Holy Spirit, ready to go out and change the world. It was in a moment. 
That is how he works in my life. So right now, because I carry that mantle, I pray over this room, Lord God, that you would work quickly. Father, that things that have been holding people up, things that have been stopping them from moving forward with you, things that have, have felt like strongholds, things that have felt like, I, I just can't get past this addiction, whatever it is, God, that you would move quickly in that area right now. Father, move swiftly in this room. Let your kindness fall because, Father, when we encounter that, it brings out a heart of surrender. And all we can say is, here I am, Lord God, send me. Let's sing that bridge again, Aleph. I want you to declare this with power. Believe it, church. Stand on who he is. When I lift my voice and shout, every wall comes crashing down. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. And when I open up my mouth, miracles start breaking out. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. And when I open up my shelf, every wall comes crashing down. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. I have the authority that Jesus has given me. Because you are my champion. And giants fall when you stand undefeated. Every battle you won. I am who you say. Crown me with confidence, I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated. By the power of your name, I am seated in the heavenly place, undefeated. With the one who has conquered it all.
your foe, still your love fought for me. You have been so, so good to me. I felt no worth, you paid it all for me. Been so so kind to me. Yeah. It's all the overwhelming, never ending, reckless love of God. Oh, it chases me down, fights till I'm found, leaves the nine. Still you give yourself away Holy overwhelming Never ending Reckless love of God oh. Sing it again. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up. Come it up. He's pursuing you all. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down. Come it after me. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up. No wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. Sing it again. There's no shadow you won't light up, mountain you won't climb up, coming after me. No, no. There's no wall you won't kick down, lie you won't tear down, coming after me. It's all yours.
he is jealous for me Love's like a hurricane I am a tree Bending beneath The weight of his wind And his mercy And all of a sudden I am unaware of these Afflictions eclipsed by glory And I realize just how Beautiful you are and how great your affections are for me. Worship the Lord for a few moments.
also want to pray for you. Father, Father, I'm asking that then I pray for a breaker anointing to rest upon her. I pray for a breaker anointing to rest upon her. She's not just going to be one of the crowd. She's going to break through social walls, intimidation, difficulties, fears, a breaker anointing, breaking barriers, breaking barriers. Because, oh, I know what you do. I know, I know, but I also know who you are. And the hand of the Lord is upon you and has been upon you since you were a child. God has moved you forth and put desires in your heart and even opened doors to fulfill his purpose in your life. Baby, you have a purpose. It's a purpose. So I just pray for you and I release you in the name of the Lord Jesus into your purpose and that you will go fearlessly, unafraid, unafraid, unintimidated, unmoved, unmoved by anything or anybody but you will walk in and speak what God puts in your heart do what he's commissioned you to do you will move with great power and great strength and great anointing you're going to be more than you thought you could be and you're going to do more than you thought you could do this is your hour to break through and in doing so you're going to break others through so right now, just reach your hand this way. Lord, we bless Zoe. We just declare, let the power of the Holy Spirit rest upon her in Jesus' name. And everybody say amen. Oh, you can be seated for a moment. Thank you, Lord. Alicia? one more just a course that's in my heart but this is a this is a just it's really a love song um, you know people that don't understand romance will never understand worship <laughs> some of you need to practice being a little more romantic come on you can start that at home did you know that <laughs> you can but when you understand that something in your heart opens to him, <laughs> oh, he's close <laughs> and he's precious. He's so precious. And this is just a course that I just, I would like for, I want Alicia just to sing this. And, and I just want you to close your eyes and just allow just that closeness of his, his breath to be upon you his heart to embrace you. Oh, how we need that. Yes, you
the power yours is the glory forever amen and yours is the kingdom yours is the power yours is the glory forever amen and yours is the kingdom yours is the power Just slip your hands up to the Lord. Just say to the Lord, I love you. Oh, I love you, Lord. Oh, I love you, Lord. Come on, just say, I love you, Lord. <laughs> I love you, Lord. Jesus, I worship you. I worship you. Thank you, Lord Jesus. And your fragrance is sweet in this place. The train of his robe fills the temple. I want you to open your hearts with me right now, just as I pray this, Lord. I want to know you. I don't know about you. I, I want to know you. I, I want to commune with you, and I want to. I want to sup with you. I want to fellowship with you. I want you just to pray that prayer with me right now, Lord. I want to know you. I want to know you. Draw me to yourself, Lord. And touch my heart, I pray. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. Let everybody say amen. There's a, there was a word of tongue spoken earlier, and um, I'd like to give the interpretation of that. Um, sometimes the flow of, of the worship doesn't always allow that. So um, it's a simple word. Freely you have received, freely give. And, you know, I could have sat there and received that word of interpretations and just said on it there. That was a good word, Lord. Thank you. But um, we've got to learn to give what God has given us. He's given us so much. Uh, scripture says the same comfort that we are given, 
by God, we're able to turn around and give that same comfort to others when they're going through the same things that we've gone through. That's real. That's, that's tangible. And all the, all the promises of God are yes and amen in Christ Jesus. And we are the amen. We are the resounding amen. We are the confirmation of God's promises. We can't hold back. We, stand, we can't stay quiet. He's given us so much. Freely you have received. Now freely give. It's simple. receive that? We receive that? Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. more than anything. <laughs> more than anything. Oh, how precious, 
oh, how precious. Oh, how precious. Are you in C? In the presence and see in 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 the presence there we are up there of Jehovah God Almighty Prince of Peace Troubles vanish, hearts are mended in the presence of the King. Can you just sing that one more time? In the presence. Of Jehovah, God Almighty, Prince of Peace, troubles vanish, and hearts are mended. Let me just tell you something that I feel. We're going to sing that again, but I feel like there's some of you that have had wounded hearts for a long time. Sometimes we practice, we carry wounds. We got to where we can be pretty good and we almost get to the place we just call it normal. Well, that's just the way it is in life, but that's not the way it's supposed to be. God doesn't want you wounded, carrying wounds, carrying past anything. What he wants from you is a whole and complete person. And I just feel right now, if you have been wounded in your heart, maybe it's been wounded as a past relationship, a past event, something maybe that was completely not your fault at all, but suddenly you became the victim of something else. I don't know what it might be. The wounds. <laughs> I'm just telling you, he was wounded for our transgressions. He was bruised for our iniquity. The chastisement of our peace was upon him. And by his stripes, the Bible says, we are healed. And I just want to say right now that the Lord will, and somebody say, how can I tell if it's a wound? Because you keep thinking about it. You can drive down the road and suddenly you'll replay that thing over and over and over again. And the Holy Spirit is wanting today to heal that wound. He's wanting to take out that root of rejection or that root of fear. And he wants to break you free from that right now. So if that's you right now, would you just lift up your heart to the Lord? And I just want you to receive this word. And in the presence of the Lord that we're experiencing right now, the Holy Spirit is going to break that yoke from off of you. This is going to be a time of breaking the yoke from off of you. And so I want you right now just to open your heart to the Lord. Don't hold anything back. You don't have to be afraid. He'll never hurt you. You don't have to be afraid. You don't have to hold back anything. But I just feel right now the Holy Spirit is wanting to bring healing. The Lord is wanting to pour in oil and wine. Say, but you don't understand what I've been through. Oh, he knows. He knows.
I'm just telling you, he's more than enough to bring healing to that area. So we're just going to sing this again. And if you'll just receive it, and just as we're singing this, I want you to say, Lord, do a work in me. I take authority over the root of rejection in the name of Jesus. I break its strength. I break its hold. I speak healing to your soul, your mind, your will, your emotions. I declare in the name of Jesus that the thing that has tormented you or that you've carried, maybe from generation to generation, I break that and I declare that this is a new day. This is a new day for you and that you are free in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare that over you. I declare that you are free. You are free in your mind, your will, your emotions. In Jesus' name. In Jesus' name. And we're going to sing that again, and I just want you to receive it. In the presence of Jehovah, God Come on, if there's somebody that you feel is close to, you feel like maybe you could minister to, would you just reach over and take them by the hand or just put your hand over on their shoulders and just pray for them right now? Troubles vanish and hearts are mended <laughs> in the presence. Of the King. Do you know that other part in His presence, in His holy presence? In His presence, in His holy presence, the weary can find perfect rest. The weary can. Find perfect rest, the broken heart restored in his presence, in his holy presence. There's nothing. Presence of the Lord. Yes. I want everybody that's in this place to get out of your seat and come and gather around the front of this. We're going to have a blessing time for you. You say you didn't preach today. I don't think it's necessary. I feel like the Lord has done something that he's wanted to do in this place. I just feel like the Holy Spirit wants to do a personal work in your life that sometimes we have to make room in our services for that to happen. Unfortunately, churches so many times become so rigid and so so scheduled that the Holy Spirit doesn't have room but I don't want that to ever be the place here I want us to have a place where we can come together and just bask in his presence because that's what we need that's what will change your life that's what will change your life is his presence <laughs> oh thank you Lord Jesus thank you Lord Jesus Father I'm praying for families right now. I pray, Father, that you would give us a revelation of the relationship with Christ and the church. And I'm asking, Father, that you would help that bond to take place right now in our homes, in our families that we will love one another and that we will give ourselves for one another. I speak healing into the homes of every person that's here. I pray for the husbands, the wives. 
I pray, Father, for the children. I'm asking God that you would bring healing and wholeness into their families and that they would be so united that nothing all the days of their life will be able to separate them. Let nothing be able to separate them. And I'm asking, Father, that you would heal the wounds and touch the hearts. Heal the wounds right now of every person. Some of you have had, some of you have been abused by circumstances and situations, but I speak healing to you right now. I declare you will not leave here like you came in Jesus' name. You will not leave here like you came. The power of the Holy Spirit right now, I declare, touches your life, your mind, your will, your emotions, your memories. I speak wholeness and healing that memories will no longer torment nor have any power over you. Things that have happened. Maybe you've been abused in some, in some way through some situation, I declare that that wound shall not have dominion over you. And I say you are free in the name of the Lord Jesus. I declare you are free in the name of the Lord Jesus from the crown of your head to the soles of your feet. Just say that right now. I am free in the name of the Lord Jesus. No matter what it is, no matter where it came from, no matter how far back it goes, I'm free. That no longer has dominion. I'm not saying it didn't exist. It just has no more power over me. And I am free from that. I'm free to be bold. I'm free to be myself. I'm free to walk in the power of the Holy Spirit, trusting in Him. I am free. I am free. And I trust in the Lord for that. I trust in the Lord for that. In the name of Jesus. 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 Father, we set our hearts in agreement for this house. We set our hearts in agreement for this house. Father, we just declare in Jesus' name, let every yoke be broken. Let every yoke be broken, I pray. Let every yoke be broken in Jesus' name. Whew. Now, would you just lift your hands up and just receive that right now? Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Just receive it. Jesus name in Jesus name yeah just receive it just receive it just receive it right now in the name of the Lord Jesus in the name of the Lord Jesus father those that are watching right now that maybe have been sick those that are in hospitals those father that are in nursing homes, those that are under the care of physicians that are watching right now, we speak wholeness to you. We've got several family members. Mike Hargett is in the, in the hospital right now. Mike, I just speak wholeness and healing to you in the name of Jesus. Those others, I declare wholeness and healing to you. I speak wholeness and healing and strength to your body in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. Baby, there's going to be an anointing going to rest on you for leadership. You're going to rise up in ways that you didn't even expect. This is going to be a time for you to begin to take your place. There's going to be an awareness and an awakening to who you are. It's not going to be attached to anything that was before you or anything that will be after you. It's who you are right now. That's who God made you to be. And the Lord is raising you up. And there's going to be a strength and an anointing for leadership that the Lord is going to bring up in you. So right now, I just speak that. I just release that in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Dreams and revelations. Dreams and revelations. Words from the Lord. Not just walking in ankle deep water. Not just walking in knee deep water or even up to your loins. But 
the water that is deep enough that you can swim. It's in that water that the revelation begins to open up even more. And along the banks of that river are trees full of fruit for the healing for the nations. Healing and wholeness along, along the banks of that river. And so the Lord is taking you by the hand and the Lord is leading you into a depth you've not been in. You're going to begin to walk in that and you're going to begin to see and you're going to begin to understand things. Revelation is going to come to you and it's going to break the yokes of things around you that you thought could never be moved, but you're going to see it happen. So I just release that. See, it's going to come by revelation. It's come by revelation of Jesus Christ. So I just release that in you in the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. In the name of the Lord Jesus. There's going to be some good things that's going to happen for you, young man. Good things. I'm telling you, your life is not your own. Your life is not your own. And God's guiding your steps, and he's going to bring you into a fruitful season. A fruitful season. I'm just telling you, it's going to be fruitful. God's, just simply because you put your hands on it, God's going to bless it just because of that. So I just, I just bless you. I, just, I bless you in the name of the Lord. I just bless you in the name of the Lord. I bless you. Brenda, I want to pray for you. Lord, I just ask God that the hand of the Lord would be upon her life and her ministry. And Father, as she steps now into a new season of ministry, and that's not just being there, but she's going to be ministering to the depths of people's wounds. Those that lost their way, she's going to take them by the hand and literally lead them out of a dangerous place and lead them into a place of strength and security and safety and an understanding and to begin to disciple and to begin to raise up and to begin to cover and minister and pour in oil and wine into the hearts and the lives of those that have been wounded. Lord, I just speak right now for a release of the grace of God that is upon her for her ministry and for what you called her to be. And I just bless her in the name of the Lord Jesus. 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 Don't allow yourself to be distracted by anything. There is a clarion call that you will hear and you will know the tone. You'll know the sound. It's a tuning fork. You'll know the sound. Don't allow yourself to be distracted. Don't allow yourself. This is something that's way down deep inside, but we're not looking at something that's just going to be there for a few days. This is something that is going to be a lifelong commission and a lifelong calling that is going to be, that, that is going to be released from you. But you must not be distracted from the path. The path is so important because God placed you on the path already. It's not something you're even looking for. You're on the path. So just continue. And the Lord is going to lead you from one step to another, from one, from one place of glory to another. So Lord, I just bless them. And I bless the ministry that is upon them. I bless the ministry that is upon them in Jesus' name, in Jesus' name. A time of divine appointments and divine contacts. There's going to be a time. God's got divine appointments set up for you. Those divine appointments God set up, actually God's been bringing the two together for a long time. But there's going to be a moment of divine contact. Listen to your heart and don't you be afraid to move. Don't be afraid to speak. Don't be afraid to declare. Don't be afraid to step out and speak what God's put in your heart because the Lord is with you. And there's going to be a prophetic grace that is going to come upon you. And you're going to begin to declare the word of the Lord and the will of the Lord. God's going to begin to reveal the hearts of men and you're going to be, make a declaration about God's purpose for them. And it's going to bring edification and exhortation and it's going to bring great comfort. You're going to carry great healing and great comfort to those that have lost their way. And so I declare it right now in the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, I speak boldness to you. Oh, boldness and strength let boldness and strength begin to rise up in you because you have great purpose in your life. You don't have to draw back. You don't place second to anyone. God's placed his hand upon you for who you are. And so you be bold and trust in the Lord and develop that character with him. Develop your relationship with him because God's going to lead you forth and it's going to be a thing of beauty that he does in you. It's going to be a thing of beauty it is. I love you. Can somebody say Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Father, we bless this house. 
I bless this house. I bless this house. I bless this house. Lift my hands. Can you sing that? And bow down. His name out loud is my hands. Can we sing this just before we leave? Come on, everybody, just lift your voice and sing all I want to do. This has been rich and wonderful, and it just doesn't get better than to sit and soak in the presence of the Lord. Thank you for being such worshipers. We're going to be back Wednesday night. We've got those three classes. Then Sunday is our picnic. What time is that going to be? Right after church. Right after church, we're going to have a family picnic. Make plans on being part of that. We're just going to celebrate together. But I want everybody to find someone close to you, squeeze them till they smile. Would you do that? And then you may be dismissed, and we're going to be back on Wednesday night.